Yeah. Nice hat. Yeah, you look good. Yeah. It's a good hat. <laughs> I just want to like personally wish both of you an untimely and painful death. Mm. Well, I was appreciate recent, that. Recently, uh, are you okay day? Um, so in honor of that, Ben, I'd like to ask you, are you okay? Uh, are you okay? Are you okay? You okay? Are you um, okay? It's okay if you're gay. I it's okay to be gay. Can so I be so both? You can be okay and gay. Yeah, that's fine. I'm, ex I'm accepting. Is it okay to be not okay and gay? Uh, you just wait yes. Too many it's, in I'm life. sure there are some gay people out there who are not okay, and it's okay to not be okay. But I hope they become okay at some point. And most mm. of all, I hope they're okay with being gay. Mm. You'd hope so. Are you. Yeah. Are you do you only become gay once you've you've done um sexual acts if you if you were say um gay and then your whole life you never fucked a dude and then one day you're like yep i'm gonna fuck a dude obviously you're gonna become gay yeah. once you fuck them but like all the way leading up to then you can still gay yeah when does the gay begin yeah yeah you're still gay yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, I agree with yeah, Matt. Yeah. yeah. You are what you are, regardless yeah, of whether yeah. what of what of what you've done. It, it, yeah. in if if that's the case, are you a are you a murderer before you've murdered, but you're thinking about it? Here's a hypothetical. Like you really want to do it? Matt, if you had to have sex with an animal or a family member, what would you choose? <laughs> depends what family member turns, depends what animal. Yeah, give us some <laughs> Give me some Any options. Animal that's not a human Mike gets to choose the animal. Okay. And you get to choose the family member? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go ahead. You guys choose for me right now. I'll make a choice. I think it's going to um, be a it's going to be a capybara. Yeah. Okay. And um mine's going to be oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Safe bet. Mum's going to uh mum's going to be your mum. All right. So I think my mum or a capybara. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is it consensual either way? That's irrelevant. It's. I think it is relevant. So you're adding too many parameters. No, I'm going to say no. It's not consensual either way. Not uh, of course, it's not. What capybara? If, if, if I, if I, I, have, to choose, if I have to choose, if I have to choose, I'm picking the capybara. Yeah. Yeah. I would. Yeah. I'm I could never. Yeah. No, I could not do that to my mother. The squawking yeah. and squealing of this oversized <laughs> rodent. As <laughs> Don't talk about my mother that way. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Welcome to another episode of Just the Tip. I didn't forget it this week. I'm your host, Mike. Join with me. As always, Matthew, how you doing? I'm doing great. That's I'm true. back on the cruise. I've got a cruise beautiful wing. tan. Mm, you look good. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking with your camera. Benjamin, how you doing, bud? Are you okay? Um, man, today I'm showing up spiteful, bitter, angry, resentful, sad, um, and accepting. Just, just, no, I think acceptance is the last one. Acceptance is the last one. Way, yeah. way too far. Yeah. <laughs> still lingering at like a two. Still in anger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, That's fair. I'm Ashley Klein. Can Fuck off. Like, can we just, just deal with this elephant in the room right off the bat? Yeah, well, yeah, I got yeah, you, to say. yeah, you go. Yeah, I've got I, I think I think you know what I'm going to say. It, 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 do, it doesn't require a long spiel. I just want to get your guys' take. I haven't spoken any since. Spiel since on it. Spiel, spiel away. Spiel away. Spiel on, that son. was so fucking close. Any day of the week. Uh, and then, yeah, next set a try and you know roosters were the best team for at least 50 to 60 minutes of that game and i just i i think we were we, we were hard done by and and i admit that i think for most of the rest of the game you could see the referee was trying to like even it out by having a few bounce of the ball calls go took away mm -hmm. but it just it didn't at the end of the day those points were valuable and like Oh, yeah, Munster, Warbrick, fucking that private school rugby boy, whatever that cunt's name is, he can fuck off. Like they can, uh, the whole, the whole power, 
No, no, um, no. Private school rugby one. boy that plays for the Storm. You know, he's the hooker. What? What's his, what's his... Harry Grant. Harry Grant, thank you. Back to the Tigers <laughs> with Harry Grant, you think? Ah, uh, yeah. I, I, I'm still, I, I'm still bitter about it because it was so like in shock. Like two minutes to go, just, just I'm there, the highest level, and then the worst part was knowing like Jeff had particularly said to me, "Don't call me because I watch the game." later and i speed through the adverts um he's like wait a while and i knew what he was gonna have to go through that poor guy and he said don't tell me Charlie. Mm-hmm. i mean what do you do in that case do you do you be like hey listen i know you said to me don't tell me <laughs> but this don't is tell. for your own good or no you you, you got to honor their wishes that's what i mean mm-hmm. yeah that they know best about their own wishes so don't fuck with that um so. yeah Pack of cunts, honestly. Like, <laughs> is this guy going to get fired or murdered or something? What retribution I've, do we have? I've heard reports that he might get demoted or something this he week. Has, or, he's yeah. been has he come dem- out this week and justified an apology? Has he made an apology or anything this week? You know what? There's a lot of people who think that, you know how the coaches do after the game press conferences, that the referee should have to do the same thing. Um, not against that idea, but yes, actually, Ashley Klein has been axed this week. He's not going to be refereeing. He's going to be in the bunker, I think, for the Panthers Waz game. Okay. No, uh, Panthers Storm game rather. Well, why couldn't Why couldn't the bunker and he's, pull that up? He, and he's not gonna He's not going to be the grand final ref. Is are the reports that I'm hearing? Mm. Andrew G uh, is the favorite. Andrew G. G. Yeah. Fucking one inch dick. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah. What's your thought, I think, you, do, I think it's it's interesting that you. I, I think it's interesting that you think the chooks were robbed when, in like, the last what five minutes, I didn't watch the game. I was seeing Rock, Rocky Horror Picture Show, terrific no. show. I'd recommend it. Um, I watched the KO Mini, pretty wasted in the casino restaurant, eating a schnitzel. And for, by the look of it, I think the storm almost got robbed where Sam Walker did a high tackle on Harry Grant and Harry Grant, grant granted, he lay down and, and tried to milk it, but it didn't, it didn't get played. Uh, I think the storm, or the Ashley Klein rather, is lucky that the storm scored on pr- basically the next set. I think maybe, I think mm. the, fucking the storm almost robbed, but I can't speak to all the calls throughout the game because I didn't watch the entire game. Mm. Matthew. Yeah. I also May want to I say quickly, something. Can I you, quickly just project to Matt, to Mike? You go ahead. Fuck you. That's all I want to say. Okay. That's that's all fair. Right. All right. Well, <laughs> here here what I have to say, and you might interject as well. Um so yeah, it was clearly a knock on, right? By Harry Grant, clearly a knock on. But you know, things are missed in every single game. Like that was a blatant one, right? But things are missing every single game. Both he was teams standing right there. I, I understand. I've already <laughs> said that's right. Both teams and coaches are constantly trying to bend the rules or break the rules in their favor. It's just part of the game. And if your team cannot overcome one complication, one, you know, call against them, then I don't think you deserve to win the game. And, let, and let, 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 me, let, let, let me say this. Let him finish. Let him finish. Then to try in the next set. I, and let, and let, it, that's a great point. It's a great point you bring up, Ben. Because I'm not sure if you remember, but four, four years ago, Benjamin, in the 2019 grand final between the Roosters and the Raiders, when the ref reversed a six again call when he shouldn't have called six again in the first place, which immediately led to a Roosters try. I didn't hear Roosters fans complaining in that point. And that game was decided by a less by a try. You're you're living four years ago. (laughs) We're talking about the now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying. (laughs) You live by the sword, you die by the sword. Don't live in the past four years ago. Live in the past as in the last weekend, is what you're saying, Ben. Mm. Well, he he has more of a primitive brain structure. They've got more of a long-term sort of memory, emotion-driven. Primitive brains, yes, they do. Have longer memories. Yeah. (laughs) I'm just saying, be better, Roosters. 
So yeah, I mean, I guess. You can't, no, I I understand what you're saying, Matt. You know, you know, things happen and all that kind of shit. But like, it was too important. It, I don't yeah. know. It, yeah. it, it's not. Well, I think I moved to stage three. Thank you guys for helping. Yeah. yeah, that's good. That's good. Well, I just you know, you you and the Raiders can start a start a party a, a support group. Yeah. Also, your team's dog shit. They had no business being in the eight anyway. They just fucking eked in there. Like a little dribble of cum, they just oh, eked they in there anyway. Eked like <laughs> never. <laughs> they, you've never seen. I've never seen a cock <laughs> eek like that before. It was so slow. <laughs> just like just ooh, just eked in yeah. there. No, that we should have. We should have. Um, we would have made. We would have won the grand final. Yeah. Well, that's what you oh. get for having hope. No, you wouldn't have. You wouldn't have won this week against the rested Panthers. Yeah. Fuck we would have Mm-hmm. Yep. the Panthers by one point mm-hmm. in the grand yep. final. Um, who we be versing the Broncos in the grand final? Maybe the Broncos Warriors, yeah. And then simple dumb. It simple. doesn't matter. We beat Warriors or Broncos. Storm was the hard part. Mm. Yeah. You don't want a peanut? <laughs> yeah, well. I'm good. Couldn't disagree more. Uh, the other bit of news that I've got here. Um, there's a lot of transfers. So obviously, the off-season is coming up. Alex Twal was told by the Tigers that he could move on. He he can find another club if he wants. He was mm. contracted for next year. But if you want to move on, Alex Twal, you go right ahead. You, you go ahead and find that. Uh, at the time, I'm pulling this out of my fucking ass. Uh, but at the time, I looked at Alex Twal's stats. In 2023, I think... Out of the 24, 25 games that they played, he played 22 of them and missed six tackles. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Why unit. the fuck would you want to get rid of that guy? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's all his fault. It could be. Yeah, maybe he's the weak link at the Tigers. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. He, guess where he's going? Oh. He's going to the Dogs. Oh, he's gone. He's, report, he's reportedly linked to the Bulldogs, I which see. is great they for the forwards. Bulldogs. They need, they need forwards. forwards. They need more forwards than anybody else in the comp, and I love this for 12. You can see him in the blue and white, right? I totally could. That Man. hairline, blue yeah, and the, white? Yeah, he would be a, a sex god amongst the Canterbury fans. Yeah, he's good. He's 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 ethnic. I like that for him. Bulldogs are majority yeah. ethnic. Absolutely. <laughs> Love that for Twali. What do you think about that one, Ben? Alex Twali to the dogs? I really don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next one. I don't, I don't know how much time you want to spend on this, but the, the Warriors, uh, the New Zealand fans, are going to be watching kickoff at 9.50 p.m. for this Ooh, finals game. A bit late. Yeah. is it that That's on Saturday night, right? Yes, Saturday night. It's sort of, yeah, sort of damned if you do, damned if you don't for the NRL. Um, the Lions are playing earlier in the day. I believe the Lions game kicks off at like mm. five-ish, anywhere I'll between see. five and 5.30. So if it were to be an earlier game, it would clash with that game, which is also being played in Brisbane. Avoid mm. Brisbane if you can this weekend. I, I'd say just avoid Brisbane in general. Yeah. Um, no, it's fine. Uh, I disagree. <laughs> Half agree. <laughs> Yeah, what do you what do you have to say? How, could you imagine watching your NRL team play a game at nine fifty p.m. at night? And is that fair? Yeah, listen, listen. I'm not a grandpa, so I could watch that. I understand. You, I, I said you're upset by it, Mike. <laughs> I'm pissed. I would. I'm upset <laughs> for the great nation of New Zealand. Yeah. 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 No, I think they'll 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 be up for it. The Warriors. Mm. It's been a long time since they've got this deep in a season. So I think they'll they'll be excited. They'll be have their bloods pumping. But yeah, we'll talk about it more in the the game preview. But fingers crossed for the Warriors. Do you think if they make it to the grand final, they'll push the grand final earlier? They'll do, or do you think they'll do this again? Make it so late nah. for the nation of New Zealand? I would say they're probably already locked in. They probably sold all the tickets for the grand final. <laughs> That's I'd say it's locked in. Yeah. It'll be like eight thirty kickoff on the Sunday for the grand final. Like uh, eight thirty our time or their time? Uh, their, for their time, because it's about five thirty or five forty-five. Kickoff. That would be fucking perfect. How perfect would that be? A five thirty kickoff for grand final would be so good. Are you oh. punching a dart and drinking red wine? <laughs> Are you French? <laughs> That's a sig. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's a bit old, the wine, but... Where's your beret, you fucking East fan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's had a hard week. He's had a hard week. Yeah, the, hard roosters, week. the roosters were robbed yeah. now. These fucking <laughs> storms. East the suburbs. East fucking suburbs. Feather birds. <laughs> fucking robbed. Sipping his latte. Yeah. That's all the news. That's all the news I got for uh, this week, boys. I, I have. I I think we should touch on the NRL oh, Yeah, like, of course. I, I felt when the Roosters lost, like a literal penal muscle contraction. Mm-hmm. Have you ever like you've lost something or whatever, and you've felt your your cock sort of like just like. The wrinkles mm. come back. They're not ironed out. They're just yeah. Like, well, I, yeah. I believe I believe it is true that when you like lose a contest, like you lose a fight or lose like a sporting match, you do have a dip in testosterone temporarily. So maybe that's what you're feeling right now. Yeah. Mm. No, but in real time, like my dick was just like you're uh, like your uh, like your penis, like the end of your penis is shrinking into a clitoris, and your ball sack is sort of no. turning inside out. No, it's more is that like, what you? Yeah, is that what it is? Lower, that's what he's saying. Lower yeah. shaft muscles, sort of. Have you ever lower shaft muscles? Have you ever been in like, in like in <laughs> like? Have you ever had to like run or something, and you felt your cock contract? Mm, yeah, yeah. When when I work out, yeah, my cock contracts. Mm-hmm. Like and it's protecting sort of like itself. It and sort of like pull it back out a bit. Yeah, it's going so into defense like, hey, mode. Like, hey, yeah. where are you going? <laughs> I think that's yeah. an evolutionary feature to protect our genitals. I am um, safe to say. I have. I, mean, I, I think the same thing happens to your balls as well. I think it's like protect the testes and the cock. Ben, Benjamin, get your head around this. I, I had a ex girlfriend just out of high school. I dated this woman briefly, and her high school boyfriend used to do this thing with his penis where he would push it into himself, oh, yeah. and it would just it would just look like a belly button. Oh, <laughs> you've seen that. I've done that. <laughs> oh, it depends. Explain to me again what he did, because I may have admitted to something I didn't do. Excuse so, me? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, um, what, do you think, what do you think I said? Um, you sort of see if you can push your cock as far back into your meat fat triangle as possible. Is yeah. that what you said? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's like, the episode push title. Push it back in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it looks like a little belly button. That's how it was described yeah, to me. So you've just, you've just popped it, it in. You just look like my belly pressed button. it in like you a button. pressed it in, and then you squeeze, and it goes. That's, is, that what you, is that what you're saying you did? Is that what you're saying? Ben? You can tell us. <laughs> you can tell us. We'll, we'll pause. We can pause if you want. Well, it's paused. It's paused. <laughs> we'll pause. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Lost My Tip Inside of My Own Self. <laughs> <Lost my tip. laughs> okay. You're uh, fucked, Ben. Come on. Hasn't, hasn't the week been hard enough for me? Give me a fucking break. Yeah. <laughs> well, At speaking... least I'm not shoving fucking shit down a shower faucet. I don't think that's worse than what you're doing. Yeah. I mean, speaking of inverted... <laughs> have you, okay, okay. My, my... Okay, Mr. never mind. I've never done any penal acrobatics. Never have done you, a bad thing never, in my life. Yeah. Have you never tucked your cock and balls between your legs and yeah. made it look like... Yeah. How's yeah, it's called, a, it's, called a, it's called a fruit salad. It's very <laughs> different. How, how's a fruit salad different to the push-in? It's different. I'm not pushing it in. I'm pushing it back. What's You're it pushing it inside your little meat triangle. No, there's no difference. You're just, You're using, a different, just using a different location. Stop different backpedaling. <laughs> I've got oh, yeah. on Dan, what under. Um, the, fr- the Friday night game this week is going to be the reigning premiers of Penrith Panthers versus the Melbourne Storm. Uh, at a core stadium. Do you think it's kind of, before we get into the game, do you think it's kind of unfair that the Broncos get to play their game at Suncorp and Panthers have to go out to a core? Mm. I, I feel like Ben has more to say about this shrinkage incident. He, he, he does. Is it shrinkage? Shrinkage, in, inverted. 
I'm not wasting my time with you low class fucking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. I mean, push, pushing Sorry. your cock into yourself is a high class thing to do. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> in answer to your question, it's in the shower. You fucking fart on your own bed sheets. You fucking come on your dirty shirts like you're a fucking animal. Like, don't you dare us... go fucking throwing stones in glass houses. You Let us know in the comments if you think pushing your penis inside of yourself is the same as any of those things. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Simon, gonna need to know what you know about Have this. Have you ever tried like to? Do you remember? <laughs> I bet your future body tech can get around it. Have you, have <laughs> you, you. Have, have I ever you, what? Let me talk. I'm going to show you how to make the hamburger. But basically, you, you push your, your knob between your balls and then you twist it to the side. So each ball looks like a bun and the snag, the, 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 the side of the meat patty is your, your Johnson. And this was an act or part of a larger act of different uh, things that these stage actors would do with their genitals in front of a crowd. And they, they'd get a paying audience. So DVDs. I knew he wasn't done. I knew it. <laughs> what's your point? <laughs> yeah, I'm, what's the point? <laughs> what's your point? My point is that this is I'm, going. Um, I'm not tipping this week out of project. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Are you happy for us to talk about the games? Yeah, though? I'll, I'll, I'll participate in who I think is going to win. Or do you want to just keep yeah. just just keep us hostage with this topic? No, no, no. I'm not going to tip. You tip in spirit. I could I could see the tipping uh, website <laughs> in the reflection of your glasses. <laughs> wow. uh, Panther Storm, is it fair, Matt? Real quick, is it fair? Mm -hmm. Is it fair? Um, well, it's it's the biggest stadium in in that part of that state. I think it's the no, it's not the biggest stadium. In, I'm not sure if it's the biggest stadium in Australia, but it's the biggest stadium in New South Wales. So, I think yeah, fuck it, yeah, play it yeah. there. Fuck I blue, saw a blue, blue bet's like twenty five thousand or something. I saw a Reddit comment that was like, it's actually the Dolphins' home ground, not the Broncos' home ground. So it's fair. Ah, uh, Matt. Yes. Yeah. Did, Lockie, um, <laughs> did Lockie put in his money for our tipping comp? Yeah. Did. Quickly send it back to him. Quick. <laughs> I'll, split, I'll split the money with you if you send it back to him. No, what is this honorable man. What's this one? Bargaining? Bargaining. Bargaining. <laughs> Bargaining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who you got for, who you got for this one, Matty? This, 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 is, this is Ben's strongest phase, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is the one he sticks in the most. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry, are you asking me or asking Ben what he thinks about this game? You, I think. I think Ben's still spiraling. Okay, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead, um, Ben. If you're gonna interrupt me, just put your hand up before you do, so I know it's coming. Um, all right. So for the Panthers, Jerome Luai. Oh, hand up. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, for the Panthers, Jerome Luai's back from a dislocated shoulder, so that's the big news there. Um, big in for them. Cogger goes back to the bench, and Peach he goes to 18th man with Isaac Tungo. Returning from a pec injury. I think he's been out for ages. It was a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. Interesting time to bring him back. Interesting time. I think they want to get... This is a bit of a training run against the Storm. This is going to be an easy one for him. Uh, yeah. Talk that Nathan Cleary had a finger injury at training this week, but... Uh, Smoke and I think mirrors. That's, it's going to be fine. They just... Finger injuries are nothing. They just pop them back in and tape them up. Mm -hmm. uh, for the Storm, though, they do get Jerome Hughes back after missing last week from the calf injury, I think it was. So Tyron Wishart goes back to the bench after scoring a good try against the Roosters. Uh, thoughts on this game? So since the Storm beat the Panthers in the 2020 Grand Final, the COVID year, they've won two of seven games against them. So not a great record. As the years go on, the storms seem to kind of be less convincing against the top teams. They're always thereabouts, but they feel like they're kind of eroding away a bit. And the Panthers just keep getting better. Yeah. Um, and Storm, really, they've been less than convincing this whole final series so far. And Penrith have enjoyed a week off after demolishing the Warriors two weeks ago. I think the Storm definitely have a chance here, but I think this is an easy one to tip. I'll say Panthers win by 12 points. That's fair. That's absolutely fair. Benjamin, who have you got for this one? Penrith. 
Very good. Uh, what I like the most about the Penrith Panthers here, and uh, this might be an omen, uh, when I look at the team lists, the pitches on the side, uh, the backs uh, from one to seven, it's like a it's like a delicious little little chicken dark meat sandwich. We've got Dylan Edwards is one bit of bread, mm. and we've got Taruva, Tongo, Critter, To'o, Luai, and then Leary. Nathan Cleary is another bit of bread. That's a lot of meat. That's a, there's a lot of meat in that bread. Mm. And I'm here to eat it. Come on, we know. <laughs> Stop infantilizing us. We fucking know. Wait, what? What? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Infantilizing us? Infantilizing. Infant. Are you okay, Ben? <laughs> I think he's dead. I think he's doing a bit. Yeah, he's either frozen or doing a bit. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. He's back. That's okay. Let's just move on. Yeah, I don't think the Penrith Panthers are going to let the Storm get even close in this one, and I might even say 13 plus. Ah. For sure. Should be a good yeah. game. Yeah, Panthers going. They're going through. Yeah, I think um, I think my partner is going out on Friday night, and, mm-hmm. and I think my advice is going to be either come back early or come back late. Do not come back in the middle, because I ain't got time for this. Yeah. I ain't got time. This is going to be the game of the round. Mm-hmm. Shout Potentially. out to our good friend that got engaged this week. Yeah, yeah shout, out, shout out to Genki Yamasaki. Good guy. Mm. Got engaged. Congratulations. Yeah. Fucking Two. that ring. What did Jess say? She didn't see it. I don't think. I don't, oh, if she, oh, if she saw it, she didn't it. say anything. She's seen it. She saw it. <laughs> she's did, seen did the it. women walk around, like walk diamonds around like their boyfriend's cocks? What do you mean? Uh, like on their on their do, finger. Do women like, walk like, boyfriends' like, cocks around? Is it a brag? Is it a brag for women to have bigger diamonds than other women? Yeah, maybe. Um, for some it's women, like, it is. I, I, I think so. Women, like women can be pretty. Women no, women can be pretty catty. So I think that yeah, I think someone who has the biggest diamond is gonna say it's the biggest diamond. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I feel like the the woman who has the biggest diamond might be also the person that like is puts a lot of importance on having the big diamond you know they're there with mm-hmm. a with a rich guy some women don't give a fuck but other women yeah. are like yeah no i want the richest possible thing the and whole, if it's do you not know you don't love me the whole diamond scam like scam to be situation go on mm-hmm. so the whole diamond industry is a fucking rule basically one big market employee by the largest diamond people in the world, De Beers, from like many, many decades ago. And basically just trying to say that getting your ladies a diamond the way is, you know, you should spend a month's salary and try to make it like a mm-hmm. cultural thing, basically. And it worked. And yeah, basically diamonds aren't rare at all. Um, they control the supply to the market. There's now been fake diamonds created that are indistinguishable um, from real diamonds um, because they're made in the same similar process in a lab. Um, and then, yeah, those basically just get cut through intentionally with the regular diamond. So you either have a real diamond that isn't actually rare or you've got a, a molecularly identical diamond that's lab made that's also not rare. Hmm. Sorry to burst any diamond bubbles for anyone out there. Go I see. There's a really interesting documentary on Netflix about it, actually. Oh, did you guys that know that? Do you guys know that Scott Prince is coaching the Broncos NRLW side? Yep. You did know that. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Jamie Sauer coaches the uh, not Dragon side. Yeah, Dragon oh. side. Hmm. That's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for those fun facts about the diamond industry. I'll put them in the timestamps, Ben. Appreciate it. Um, you know what we didn't get into? Tan and your cock with your dad on the yes. on the, on the I deck. Gonna say, I was going to say, which mm-hmm. family member did you fuck on the cruise? <laughs> <laughs> which family? Answer the question, you coward. Okay. Tell us about the cruise. You what guys want to know about the cruise? Cut all that yeah, diamond yeah. shit out. Put the cruise in here. <laughs> the diamond stuff was good. Um, okay, so the cruise. Yeah, the cruise was great. I went with my family. We're for my sister's 30th birthday. 
And uh, we basically we were out at sea for four days, went up to Early Beach, came back. The weather was fantastic the whole way. Last day was a bit windy, though. That caused some problems for yours truly. Um, but uh, pretty much every single day, my dad, who is a 76-year-old, 5'3", super tanned Greek god. He looks so good for 76. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, he's he tanned every day for four hours. Jeez. I, on, on one of the days <laughs> I went and tanned with him, I was out there for one hour, half an hour each side. Mm -hmm. medium rare and then mm -hmm. he went for another three hours after that he was out mm -hmm. there girls are coming over tuning him having a bit of yes. a chat um he and then there is a also um there's a nightclub on the boat yep. called altitude okay and um the first night we had just discovered it so it was just me cindy locky went there we met up with these dudes who were on a bucks party and we had a very crazy night let me okay. just say that um after that we came back told the family and then after that my dad every single night was like we go in the club we go in the club and mm -hmm. um it was funny on the second night we we're me and cindy lock and we were a bit cooked after the first night we got a bit yeah got a bit dusty and yeah. um at one point during the night on the cruise you do activities you know there are like shows to go to and dinners and Shuttle activities yeah. yeah things like that right and so us as the family we were we were going to like the great gatsby night thing that night it was a great gatsby party so we uh -huh. went to that it was pretty lame in my opinion um and dad had disappeared he had just gone and then later on in the night um uh most people had gone to bed and my mom was like oh i want to check out this nightclub well, let's see where it is and me and cindy were like okay i tell you what before we go to bed we'll go up and just oh show you God. where the nightclub is yes. and Got back together. This is where rekindle, it's going. <laughs> rekindle, 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 rekindle. <laughs> rekindle. Oh no, no rekindling. Um, so we go up to the nightclub, right? And it's like maybe eleven. It's pretty much just opened, and there's about four people in there, and my dad just walking around, and I'm like, Dad, what are you doing here? And he's like, Oh, he looked like he just he was like a cockroach. He turned the lights on. He was like this. <laughs> the rat goes like this. The rat goes like this. Um. No, just he, he was he was he was just up there just on the hunt. He's just he's child Ben when his dad opens the door and he's in there pushing his cock into his little square. <laughs> and he's like, oh <laughs> yeah. I had my first sexual experience on a cruise ship. Yeah. Really? It, was Andrew McKee there? He was. <laughs> what else from your cruise, Matt? Uh, yeah, so, yeah, that night we just, me, my dad, Cindy, and mom, we had a dance thing. So it was like the, the original family, you know what I mean? Before, before everything, yeah. all the walls came tumbling down. So that was yeah. nice. Um, yeah. apart from that third, third day, uh, we went to Early Beach, went on shore, drank, came back. I got, I got munted that mm, day. Absolutely good. cooked. Propositioned a young lady. Um, and I, it, 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 uh, it almost, I think I was... I was close to sealing the deal, but I was just yeah. too drunk and I was saying some weird shit. You know how mm. I am when I get drunk. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I can relate. I can relate. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I didn't come through. But then the fourth day, it was the, the sea was really rocky. Like it was constantly, yeah. you'd be, you'd be walking up and down the hallways, like doing these ones, trying to keep your balance. That coupled with the fact of how, how hungover I was, I was pretty much just vomiting in the room all day. Last yeah. day was a write off. Yeah, seasickness. It's no joke. Who did you share a room with? My dad, who was snoring oh, yeah. loudly like the whole time. Ah, that sucks. Um, okay. Two but he was a great roomie. Great roomie. Two question. First question: Did you drop a nut the entire cruise? Uh, no. There were no nuts dropped, but I dropped when I got back. The streak okay. is over, boys. The streak, the streak is, is over. over. How long did you go for? Um, I think I went over thirty days. Tell me, right? Yeah, it, it, yeah it, 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 just over thirty right. days. If you had to rate the um, size and viscosity from zero to ten, I knew you'd ask this question. Um, yeah, so so I want size, viscosity, distance, and hue. Um, it was size. Milliliters, spoons. Yeah, in in in. Yeah, it was certainly a lot. It was certainly a lot. Like it's, it got to the point where like I thought it was over, and then it kicked on for a couple more squirts. You know, oh, one of those like, ones. Like was it? You know those little bottles of um, Yo Play? Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many just, of those bottles of Yo Play were you filling? 
Uh, geez, I don't know. I was just I was in a moment of um, transcendental. Uh, okay. Uh, I was uh, yeah I was on a different plane of existence for a bit. Um, viscosity. Geez, I don't know. It was it was pure hot. white though. It wasn't yellow. It was pure white. Mm. It was pure. Okay. <laughs> pure Aryan calm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would have gotten a ninety-year-old woman pregnant with that load. Jeez. Oh. Oh, Thank you for asking. Nice. I appreciate the, <laughs> Any, the interest. Anything else from the cruise? Uh, no, nothing really. No, no. Mm. I, if I think of it, I'll bring it up. But that oh, was the shit stuff. What was the bill? What was the to the to If you had to guess the total bill. What was the damage? Yeah. Oh Blackberry yeah. Terry buying a stupid watch in the gift shop. Oh, for the whole Terry, family. Did Terry go? Thing, yeah, Terry, Terry. Terry was there, but yeah. he was pretty much um just going to sleep early every day. He felt a bit sick. Like okay. you'll see, he's not in any family photos because he was constantly in his room. Yeah. Listen, uh, if you if you want him back, take him back. You know, just yeah. take him back. The to total bill was probably quite high. All like right. his family. Let's talk about how this next to, game. Spe speaking of to... expensive tickets. We've got the Broncos versus the Waz at Suncorp Stadium. Unfair we're that all, they're playing we're at Suncorp. All going for the Waz. We're, all, we're all supporting the Waz now the Chooks are out. I'm 100% are, supporting the Warriors. We are all supporting the Waz. I don't think they're going to be able to do it here. I think the Broncos coming off that rest, playing the exact same side that got the job done two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the Waz, bless them. Bless their fucking hearts. I think they're potentially running into a, a buzzsaw here. The, that is the worry. That is the Broncos, rather. What a difference two seasons makes. Hey, Spoon in 2020, right? Um, who the Warriors? The Broncos. Oh, oh, the Broncos. I don't think they got the spoon, did they? Yeah, they definitely got the spoon. Hang on, let me check. What? 2020, I think. Yeah. 16 point we loss. Need a new expert, Mike. They did. You're right. Job of expert. Two seasons. Yeah, that's me. I remember because I was in the city and I got to see all those wooden spoons litter all over Suncorp. It was oh, great. of course. Yeah, they were throwing spoons at the club. I remember that. Yeah, terrific, terrific stuff. Yeah, yeah. So there's two that. seasons. And the, the last last season, the Warriors came 15th, second last. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Can't pick it. But um, yeah, both teams have are one to 17 from their last game. And yeah, the Broncos, they thumped Melbourne in week one of the finals. Uh, Corey Oates is still 18th man. So the um, the king of twinks, Jesse Arthurs, he keeps his spot on the wing. Shout out Beautiful. to the twink king. Um, Warriors, yeah, same. Both teams are basically full strength, which is which is great. I think Warriors missing Luke Metcalf, but it's good to see both teams going in, you know, pretty strong. Um, I, I, I have a similar feeling to you, Mike. Interesting, though, over the past few seasons, games between these two teams have been quite even. As they've gone a bit win-loss, win-loss. There was a draw in there somewhere as well. Uh, the Warriors, you know, they got back on track. They lost one, week one of the finals to the Panthers by a considerable margin, got back on track, putting the undefeated Knights to the sword by mm -hmm. a, huge, a huge margin. But yeah, the Broncos, yes. the Broncos have enjoyed the week off, and that's... That's big. And they're so potent in the attack. They've had a bunch of rest recently. Like they had their bye late. They rested all their players, I think, in the last round and then last week as well. I think the only team that can contain the Broncos right now are probably the team that's, that they're going to face in the grand final. This is the game I'm most keen to see. I really want the Warriors to win because up the was. Mm -hmm. But I think the Broncos win by 10 points. Yeah, love that. Benjamin, who you got? Why this is the worst season that I can remember in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Back to sadness. Three P. Three P's coming. The three P was always coming. Fucking Luai and Cleary just gonna fucking kiss in the field and all fucking. I want to see jerk that. Over the yeah, I see that. Fucking little fucking thick calves. I want to see a little chicken sandwich. And then maybe Broncos will win next year. They're not. They're not going to force gear. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, no, they do. They do tree peat, and it's very deflating to everybody that's not from Western Sydney. Um. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's been another episode of Just the Tip. <laughs> we have more to do. <laughs> we have more. We to have do. more to do. I appreciate well, I, actually, it. So. You, I, are you yep. tipping the Broncos or Warriors, Ben? My question. 
it's, it's irrelevant for me at this point. Broncos. It doesn't matter. Broncos. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah. matter. Hey. I mean, Dan, listen, Dan, your ben, cock. it's not over. Hour. It's not over for the Roosters. You know this, right? I need to get lucky to get all three wrong and me to get all three right to win. Yeah, no, I'm not saying it's not over for the Roosters because the Roosters NRLW team are in the finals. That's right. And guess who they're playing this week? That. Guess who they're playing that. this week? Order. Week week one of the finals. So they're just at the semifinals. Next week's the grand final. Guess who they're playing? First week of the finals, the Gold Coast Titans. Yeah, buddy. So I got a question for you. If I want to buy... If I want to buy a Roosters women's jersey in men's, how do I do that? They're the same. They're the same. You just get a They're the large... same design, yeah. So I just I just get the... You don't have you to can... get a women's jersey. It, you know, might, like... it, it might suit your figure a little better. Mm-hmm. Very loose, loose around here and tight around the, around the hips. Yeah. But yeah, the Roosters, they came second. Titans came third. They're playing. These The, the two games are on Sunday afternoon. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas the Knights play Broncos first versus fourth. I think the Knights probably win. But yeah, yeah. Titans beat Roosters. Roosters beat the Titans earlier this season. But oh, fingers this crossed. Might be our, this might be our first premiership coming hey, up. Hey, first premium. First premium. Yeah, first that's premium. one of four. One of four. Fuck, let's do it. <laughs> So you yeah, got I'm the Broncos. Excited. You got the Broncos, right, Ben? Yeah, why not? He's got do you want to hear? Do you want to hear some comments? No. Right. I want to hear some commies. The first. Oh. The, fir- the first oh. comment is from from rugby league history, and he writes, "I think when we look back on Mitchell Pearce's career, most people will remember him for all the times he lost in State of Origin series after series, and secondly, the dog in- <laughs> the dog incident." Both of those overshadow the premiership in 2013, I feel. Yeah. Yeah, who, who fucks a dog? Yeah. Who even, he didn't fuck he the dog. He just he made it. He just took defensive. the dog and made a joke that he was going to fuck it, right? Yeah. He, he, he didn't, didn't fuck the dog. He's, he's just like, oh, this is what would happen if I fucked a capybara. He, did, he didn't put he, he didn't dog. he didn't put P in D, did he? No, no he's no. He in his pants, dude. It's like. It was a joke. When you were like nine and you'd pick up your teddy and you'd be like, oh, look, I'm fucking my teddy. No, yeah, it, it was, yeah, it was a joke. Like it was, it was a Valentine Home style gag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he, and Valentine's Home has escaped, right? He's gone. No one's talking about him this week. Yeah, he, he's don't worry about it. He's gone. Don't worry about it. Uh, in rugby league history continues. Uh, the way the finals work now is week one is a qualifying final and the top four for the top four, the bottom four is the Elam final. Week two is classified as the semifinals, Elam finals, and then week three, preliminary finals, all this more. Week four, grand final. Thank you. Because we were yeah. all confused. Are you educating us, fuckhead? No, that's really yeah. impressive. No, we, we know the system. It's just like naming those games is a is a nightmare. Yeah. Qualifying final, preliminary final. Semifinal. Like, you're qualifying for the preliminary final. Yes. Qualified like, preliminary. Preliminary is... Or before that, yeah. All right. Uh, history of history of football writes. I don't think much will happen to Holmes. Fucking called it. Uh, Monster was literally filmed snorting it off the table and got a one-game ban. That's yeah. fine. That is correct. Uh, Sean Lane also had a similar picture, but he got he got a fine and no suspension. It's true. Yeah, it's all good. Play on. It's Let the boys snort. Good line, wouldn't he? And Simon, Simon Ashwin. This is the last one, Ben. Uh, Simon Ashburn White writes, Ben's fidgeting is making me seasick. Speaking of seasickness. You're good yeah. this week. You're not yeah, all you're, over the place this good. week. You're good. Yes, last week I was holding my fucking phone. Thanks for your meaningless comment. You should get a tripod. Don't watch this, <laughs> Don't watch this show. You're not welcome. Oh. Yeah. But um, um, so ne- next week is our last episode of the year. Uh, uh, not not with sending any bonus episodes we may do so mm-hmm. if you want to you know swear on air if you if you want to get us to say the n-word <laughs> i'm not saying it no way <laughs> this is yeah this will be yeah. your last chance of the is year tell the us what you think I asked you earlier is it the circus next week it, it is. is yeah yeah the second the... list of shit that i need to prepare 
no we'll doubt talk about it in the chat. No doubt he will. Uh, he, yeah, second annual Circus Award. Get your get your T-shirts. I was thinking like Roman numerals, and it's be like Circus Alumnus, and then a big two. Yeah, yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, one of you's got a hypothetical for us. No, I don't. Okay, Matthew, anything? Um, I, I don't have a hypothetical, but I just have a question for you. Mm -hmm. A question about love and life. Do you believe in love at first sight? Yes. Explain why. Love at first sight is real, but then it only activates if they have like the same thing. Because there's a lot of love at first sights that are immediately extinguished by just bad dynamic, just don't get, doesn't vibe. So is it really love or is it lust in that case? You're right. It's, it's lust. Lust of first sight is absolutely real. That's a, it's the bedrock of our society. <laughs> but is love at first sight a real thing? I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe for some people, mm -hmm. yeah. I think there has to be just the right amount of viscosity and alcohol involved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Viscosity, yeah. yeah. All right, a follow-up question then. Is love blind? Love it blind, yes. Um, well, then you ever love somebody, but you're like, fuck, you're ugly. Listen, dude. I love you, but you're fucking gross. Go Can we okay. fucking sort Do something stuff. out, please? Can we go? Yeah, get, get a bag. But then do, do you want to reproduce with that person? You know, the the old wives um, tale of the woman who's had a lot of plastic surgery and she marries mm -hmm. the dude and produces yeah. ugly kids. That's, and then the that's dude a side quest. Her. That's a side quest on cyberpunk. Do you do that oh, one? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. A woman, uh, they have a child and he's like, this is not my child. And she, yeah, she turns out she's got a lot of plastic surgery. Mm -hmm. Cy cybernetics, cyberware. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cyberpunk? Jeez. In, um, in answer to my own questions, do I think, mm -hmm. do I believe in love for a sight? No. Most of the time. Mm -hmm. um, do I believe that love is blind? No. I feel like you have to get an entire picture of someone inside and out before knowing for sure. Yeah. I Despite think maybe, the fact that I watch Love is Blind on Netflix, great show. You're absolutely correct. And I think maybe when the term love is blind, oh no, sorry, love at first sight was coined, uh, it was a much smaller dating pool with no internet. It might have been like yeah, medieval to 50s. Yeah. I got a hypothetical and I haven't trialed this. So I don't know how it's going to land. But basically, okay. Matt. We can yeah. just cut it out. Would you rather be in a relationship with a woman for like 10 years and then find out she's your sister or be in a relationship <laughs> with your sister He's obsessed. Know, knowingly, right? For 10 years and then find out she's not actually your sister. <laughs> Wait, so knowing that you've been dating, yeah, thinking so, that so, you've so, been so, dating uh, your sister, so you went in there. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're dating a woman for 10 years and you find mm -hmm. out she's your sister. Yeah. Or you knowingly date your sister for 10 years and then find out she's not your sister. Mm. Well, I feel like the second one would be more relieving. Or maybe it wouldn't. Maybe the fact that you were dating your sister you is, is, is part of part of the appeal yeah. for you. You know what I mean? And then you find out she's not your sister, and you're like, "Well, I'm not interested oh. anymore." Yeah, no, I think by ten years you've come to terms with it. Oh, I feel like you already knew she was your sister, so you came to terms yeah. with it when you fucked her the first time. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Uh, it's a great question, though. I love it. <laughs> Do you want me to get an AI to whip up some photos of Matt and his sister fucking for you, Ben? How much would <laughs> yeah, you be willing you to pay to for this? that? And what other family members do you want? Yeah. 20 bucks a photo, I reckon. 20 bucks a photo? Fuck. It's more than what yeah. you thought you'd be offered. That's more than what I thought I'd be offered, yeah. Do you want to do uh, a thummy? We could do a thummy. This is a weird episode. This was a weird episode. <laughs> Next one's going to have more structure to it. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. We need Zero a holiday. Zero all incest episode. <laughs> I'm going to just do this. Just give me a light. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, there we go. 
Yeah, all right. <laughs> Benjamin. Uh, well, s- someone take us out. Benjamin. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching another episode of Just My Sweet Mike, Matthew, Matt, Ben, 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 go for yourselves. Good night. Let us know in the comment if you ever have pushed your penis inside yourself. Please do. Please let us know. I don't give a fuck about the NRL. That's all I want to hear. The pee hole has to be in the negative. <laughs> the music, the music is over the top of me. Goodbye. Bye. Her high school boyfriend used to do this thing with his penis where he would push it into himself and it would just, it would just look like a belly button. Oh, (laughs) you've seen that. I've done that. (laughs) Oh, depends. Explain to me again what he did, because I may have admitted to something I didn't do.